Hey friends, come on. Now, you know that we've highlighted a bunch of different neighborhoods on this channel over the years. I mean, a bunch of them. And you can actually check out most of them, all of them, right up here in this playlist. But I've recently discovered that there's gotta be a better way, and there is. So we're gonna start a new series covering each of the 13 different neighborhood districts in the city of Bend. They've kind of already broken everything up for me, so it's nice and easy and compact. And today, we're kicking things off with our first hood, Mountain View. We're gonna talk about the subdivisions, the amenities, and more. Stay tuned. Okay, Mountain View is located on the northeast side of town. It's basically just kind of wraps 27th Street, which is a north and south road. It's like Butler Market to the north, down to Greenwood at the bottom, uh, and then from like Purcell to Eagle, east to west, give or take a little bit. This means that the Mountain View District, neighborhood district, also engulfs St. Charles Medical Center and the Forum Shopping Center. At least those are the two more notable things to talk about. But there's more to it than that, so let's go ahead. Let's talk about the amenities first. First of all, if you're feeding a family like we are, the first most important and best amenity in this area is Costco. <laughs> At least for now, they're moving to the north side. <laughs> Whatever, we're close to that too. But also, there's a great mix of other tenants here at the Forum Shopping Center. You've got Safeway, you've got Big Lots, you've got Whole Foods, Old Navy, and then you've got some really great restaurants. You've got Baldi's Barbecue, you've got Ola, which is kind of a Mexican Peruvian type restaurant. Really good. And then there are a bunch of other places. It's, it's a pretty big shopping center. And then across the street, there is Worthy Brewing and The Phoenix, which those are both great sit-down restaurants. Then a couple of blocks north, uh, right across the street from St. Charles Hospital, there's a great little shopping center in there. It's got lots of cool things. It's got Ablo Tacos, mm. a great coffee shop called Lone Pine. Oh, and Sun River Brewing just opened a location over there. And there's this great food truck lot over there called On Tap. The beer garden slash tap house features 35 uh, taps there that has all the best beer you could possibly want. Mm. It's a very popular place uh, for locals because it's got some you know, great local live music that plays there and it's got a really great vibe going on for it. A local vibe. But there's more to this area than that. We've got parks, people. Mountain View Park, Providence Park, and then the big one, Sky View Park. Now it's not technically in the zone, but it's kind of just outside, but it's the biggest park that we have to the Mountain View District. So we gotta put it on the list. Then of course we've already mentioned this, but the hospital's already here. And because the hospital's here, there's tons of other medical in the surrounding area. Everything from imaging to surgery centers, pediatric, women's centers, orthopedic, plastic surgery, just everything. There are also numerous senior living centers here as well. So if all of this sounds great, you're thinking about moving here, let's talk about some of the actual kind of housing that's available in the Mountain View district. Super fun fact, Mountain View is actually Ben's most populous district. More people live in the Mountain View district than any of the other districts, any of the other 12 others. Ha, how about that? You know, at one point there wasn't actually anybody living here. Huh. I was actually reading an article from a long, long time ago before they actually located the hospital over here, you know, on the other side of Pilot Butte, because everything used to be on that side of Pilot Butte. And there were comments from people in this local article I was reading complaining about how the hospital's gonna be halfway to Burns. <laughs> That's funny, because Burns is like 130 miles away. <laughs> Sorry, got off track. Now the biggest thing to understand about the northeast side of town is that it is probably the most affordable quadrant of Bend. There's also probably the widest variety of housing options over here. We got everything. There are obviously plenty of single family kind of detached residences, which you would normally consider just homes for sale. But we also have condos, townhouses, duplexes, triplexes, you know, multifamily, everything apartment complexes, like I said before, senior living centers. We got it all here. Okay, so let's talk about the more notable neighborhoods in the area, Providence. Providence began back in 1991, and it's kind of your classic track style neighborhood. The homes are of a median size and price range for when they were built. 1,100 to kind of 2,100 square foot homes on decent sized lots. They're not high-end homes by any means, but they are still nice, well-appointed single family homes 
of their day, that time being the early 90s. <laughs> it's actually a pretty large neighborhood as well. Once you actually count up all of the phases, there's nearly 300 homes in here. Murata, we actually did a full neighborhood tour of this a few years back. So if you find that you are more interested in this particular neighborhood, you could probably go back and check out that video as well. So Murata is actually located on the north end of the Mountain View District, kind of the most northeastern corner across the street from Petrosa and is also the newest hood kind of in this area. It technically began in 2008, but it didn't really get rolling until about 2014. It was kind of this recession thing that happened. Anyway, there are 225 homes in here, all built by Franklin Brothers, which is a local builder, good builder here in the area. So this is a great neighborhood with great amenities. There is a park, there is a pool, and just about every home has some sort of mountain view if you look to the west. Hunter's Highlands. Now this is a tiny little spot. Now as you drive by, you might think it's a much larger neighborhood because you can kind of see the, the sign on the road on 27th, but it's not. There's only like 36 homes in here, but it does connect to a much larger kind of swath of homes that we will also kind of talk about here in a bit. But my point to bring this particular neighborhood up is all these homes are very nice. They are slightly newer, built in kind of the early 2000s and are really nice homes. The builder did a good job here. The main road that you would come in on is Jill and as you kind of turn in to that street, the mountain views and the homes are just kind of right there. I just really like this tiny little pocket. All right, these last two neighborhoods are not necessarily exclusively confined to the neighborhood in which I'm gonna call them. It's kind of weird. It's more just an area because there's all these little tiny patchy neighborhoods that all kind of collectively make up this area. And so I'm just gonna kind of pick one of their names and that's what we're gonna talk about. Tamarack Park. Tamarack Park is basically a neighborhood, like I said, of, of nearly 400 homes. But when you fold in the cheese, <laughs> I mean, fold in the rest of the adjacent little properties, it's probably closer to seven or 800 homes. So all of these homes were basically built around the same time, you know, within maybe 10 or 20 years, and they all kind of are very similar in style and in design. Tamarack began in 1979, so this entire corner of town evolved through the 80s and 90s and features a great mix of affordable single family homes. Okay, last one, Oak Tree and by proxy, Yellow Ribbon Road which kind of gets you back there into this area that I'm talking about again. And, and I think the highlight of this area is it is probably one of the more nicer areas, kind of more of the higher end areas of this particular neighborhood district. So Oak Tree is kind of the sign right off 27th, the road that you turn into on Yellow Ribbon that gets you back there. But really there are only about 50 homes in the Oak Tree neighborhood, but there are hundreds back there further. Again, this is just a step above in terms of lot sizes and finishes compared to a lot of the other single family homes that we've talked about in this particular district already. Now they are older as Oak Tree was plotted back in 1994, but the homes are a little larger, which is nice. But after you get past Past Oak Tree and you go back a little bit further, there are tons of just these little roads and little pockets where a builder bought up a couple of acres and they developed kind of their little thing here or a little area of homes over here. And it all actually goes together really well, but there is so much that has been kind of pieced and puzzled together, there's actually new homes over there being built even to this day. My favorite is this series of roads. Uh, let's see, uh, Puffin, Lark View, and Oak View. These are really great east-west, charming streets, alley loaded, great curb appeal. And then when the trees are there, lining the streets and they're in bloom, wow, you, you, you get the idea. Guys, that was a lot of info. We didn't even really get to talk about schools. Technically, there are only two schools that are really in that zone. You've got Mountain View High School, which is the high school, and you've got Trinity Lutheran, which is uh, a private school that's over there on the more north end. Yikes, look at the time. Hey, if you or someone you know is looking to buy or sell here in the area, my team and I would love to be your local real estate resource of choice. You can find our contact information uh, by going to cromrealestate.com or if you go full creeper mode, you can check us out in the description of this video or go to our main channel page and find our information there as well. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment and follow us on our other uh, social media channels like Instagram and Facebook. We would love to connect there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Pediatric. I was gonna say orthodontic, it's not orthodontic. Orthopedic, yikes.
Would you look at the time? Hey, look, if you know of, uh, if you 